What do you mean we're filming? I'm eating my friggin' lunch. Leave me alone. Start talking? I can do that. Sorry. I'm Lumpy the Grumpy Vermont Stonemason. Excuse me, I'm eating my lunch and you're telling me to talk. Boy, does that make me madder than a... Er. Anyhow, I'm here to talk about stonemasonry. Um, still eating my lunch. Teach a thing or two about stonemasonry. Complain a bit. That's because I'm the Grumpy Vermont Stonemason. Hmm. Talk about stuff. Anyhow, last week it seems it was mud season. Now it's summer. All the flatlanders are coming up. Can't find a parking spot in town. Go to the store to get a sandwich. Gotta wait a friggin' hour. Flatlanders everywhere. Taking pictures in the middle of the road. Flatlanders everywhere. But if it wasn't for the flatlanders, I wouldn't have no job. So, thank you, flatlanders. Anyhow, I hope you like my show. Sit back. Do whatever you do. Anyhow, bye. Hi, right, I'm Lumpy, the Grumpy Vermont Stonemason. Today I'm going to teach how to build an arch out of stone. Arch has been around for many, 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 many years. Many, 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 many years. It ain't rocket science. However, I do put the rock in rocket science. Sorry about that. That was me trying to dance. I don't dance. I won't ever do that again. I promise. So anyhow, I'm going to teach you how to build an arch, so hang on, and we're going to get this started. Bye. Well, to build an arch, you need some simple tools, just a hammer and maybe a chisel. But the most important thing to building an arch is having a form. The form is what you use to put your stones again while you're building it. So you can use an old tire, an old bucket. Or an old paint bucket, it doesn't matter. But what I use is a form made out of plywood and some masonite. But the key to it is to be able to get the form after, out after you uh, put your stones on top. So what I've done is I've taken some two by fours and some shims. So when I get my stones on there, I can just pull the shims and two by four out and my, form, and my uh, stupid thing will be done. <laughs> but anyhow, um, I'm going to get to building this arch, and uh, I hope you like it. So hang on for a second. I'm going to get into place. Hold on to your hatch. We're going to build an arch. I don't care if you don't hold on your hatch. You get a sunburn? It's not my problem. Pay attention, watch, learn something. Here we go. We're going to build an arch. I got some stones here. They got nice little wedges on them. Those are going to be our base stones. So they helped create the arch. When you put the stones in, you want to make sure you shim them up so they don't wobble around on you. Sometimes you got to give them a helping hand by getting that little arch thing going there. Remember, this is just for fun. Sometimes I don't like the first stone I put down.
you sure to get the general idea. I'm going to speed things up a little bit. Hold on. Time to take a quick, quick break. Okay, back to work. Well, I think that's pretty solid. Feels solid to me. It's time to take the forms out. And here we go. Well, I think that went pretty well. What you got to make sure you do is make sure your stones don't wobble. They all got to be fitting in there nice and tight. So anyhow, that's all I got to say about that. Time to find something else to do. Wait. One thing I've got to tell you to remember, though. <laughs> I forgot what I was going to tell you to remember. If you've done a good job building your arch, you should be able to stand on it. So check this out. I think I've done a good job. There's some people out there getting rich and famous building these arches. Traveling around the world. Sounds pretty good to me. Sure beats a Vermont winter. Yep. You practice too. Maybe you could travel around the world, get rich and famous. Just practice. That's all I got to say about that. Anyhow, I'm going to leave with these words. Remember, building stone walls is easy. Working with stone is easy. Just got to be smarter than a pile of rocks. Wait. Well, stone mason.